Mark Dwayne here from markdwayne.com. This is a video that I'm doing. Um, I don't really intend it to be a review video, um, but I'm doing this to show you how I've learned how to set my Samsung Q2U with my Scarlet Solo and my Cloud Lifter, how I've learned how to set it up in OBS. Now, I have a greater appreciation for OBS. I never used OBS before, but OBS is a really, really good software I found, um, especially if you want to upgrade your audio and you want to do talking head videos. Um, this video I did, I, I'm making to show you how I've learned how to set up my Samsung Q2U my Scarlet Solo, and my Cloud Lifter up in OBS. Um, how this uh, all came about, it's a little bit of a story, is I do digital product reviews, and I've been doing them for a couple years now, and I was using a cheap uh, Walmart microphone and then I came across a deal about a couple months ago of a, um, it's called a V8 stereo with a compression microphone. And it was only about 25 bucks. So I went ahead and bought that. I had a lot of trouble getting it set up, even though it had did have a deep sound to it. And the last few uh, reviews that I'd done before this uh, were done with that uh, microphone. I do the, did the intro because I do an intro and then I do, don't do a talking head video. And the intro was done with the uh, Walmart microphone and the uh, compression microphone with the V8 system was done with the um, uh, uh, V8 system and the compression microphone, the uh, uh, regular review. I don't know if I said that correctly, but I used two different microphones, one at the beginning and one for the re actual review. So one sounds different than the other. Well, anyway, uh, I found out that my son does um, video streaming for uh, gaming, okay? And I didn't know it, but he knows a lot about this audio stuff. And he told me something that made sense. Um, he said, if I go to a video and it doesn't have good quality, then I'm clicking off. So that got me to think, and I says, I think I need to upgrade my audio. So I did a lot of research, um, watched a lot of reviews on different microphones, and I still watch them. And I seen a lot of positive reviews about this Samsung Q2U. Um, before I go further, um, all these products, I will leave Amazon affiliate links down below this video. So if it looks like something you might be interested in, you can get access to them through the Amazon affiliate links down below this video. It will help me and my channel. So anyway, I'm not a professional podcaster. I'm just a guy that does digital product reviews. I do it on the side and I do make affiliate commissions for doing that okay so cut to the chase completely transparent okay so I'm doing this video to show anybody else that wants to upgrade their audio and wants to learn how I set it up in OBS um, to get the best sound or so they can tweak it out so they can get the best sound that's what this is all about I'm not an expert I've only had this microphone and this uh, Scarlet Solo and the Cloud Lifter. I've only had it about maybe two weeks. I've only done actually one product review with it because it's the holiday season and the uh, vendors are out with their families and stuff like that. So I decided to do this maybe to help somebody else out that doesn't know about OBS. I'm still learning OBS. So anyway, um, my son said, uh, if I see a video that doesn't have good quality, I'm clicking it off. So that got me to thinking. So I started watching these reviews and I found, came across the Samsung Q2U, which had a lot of good reviews by a lot of professional podcasters, 
even though it's not an expensive microphone, and they got different packages. I just came across a package today on it that has a boom arm, it has a pop filter, it has everything. It doesn't have the micro, uh, the headphones, but it has everything that you would want. You know, I already had a boom arm. Um, it, the boom arm I had to make work because it didn't fit with the uh, Samsung Q2U. I was going to get a Samsung Q9U later on, but I'm starting to say I don't know. There's there's so this uh, this uh, microphone here, even though it was like a sixty dollar microphone, um, and it came with a you know the XLR. Is that right? XLR. Sometimes I call it XML. So if I call it XML, that's just me because I'm had some TIAs and I I'm still a little new to this. So anyway, it's an XLR into the uh, Scarlet Solo and the Cloud Lifter. And I do recommend that you get the Cloud Lifter. So anyway, um, this is kind of how I set it up. Now the one uh, button I didn't push on the um, uh, Scarlet Solo is the live, uh, the live, or the air button. So I'm going to turn that on. So this may make it sound a little different. It's supposed to add more realism, um, so I turn it on. And the one thing you need to know is if you are going to use a cloud lifter with the Scarlet Solo, that you need to make sure you turn the 48V button on. And if you're not using it, shut it off because you can damage your system. I found that out. So what this video is actually all about, to help somebody else out that's new and doesn't know a lot about OBS, doesn't have a good uh, microphone system, uh, wants to learn how to set this up, this is how I set it up. I've seen other videos by other guys, and I tried to set it up by theirs, and it sounded like crap. I'm sorry. No offense. But I found there's three areas in OBS that help a lot. If you want to have good sound, now you may have to tweak it. Right now, I don't have anything on. I did hit turn the gain down on the Scarlet Solo down so you couldn't hear the noise in the background because my son has a fan blowing, and you can hear that. So that's why I use three areas, the, uh, the noise suppression, the compression, and the limiter. Those are the three areas that I'm going to be using. My last review that I did, digital review, I didn't use those so from now on I'm going to tweak those and it will take you some tweaking so anyway I don't know if I went through this but in order to use OBS um, you need to make a scene and you do that by pushing this plus button and then you add different sources inside the scene now if you're going to use a webcam up here see me up here you need to have that at the top once you get it set up you push lock um, the background scene, I misspelled it. I'm dyslexic. I've had some TIA, so you have to forgive me. That's what this background is back here. And I got the preview over here. Now, you can get rid of that by going out of studio mode and going like this. Or you can have it go with both of them. I don't know which one looks better. But that took me a long time to figure out how to get rid of that. Because I had it on I couldn't get rid of it. But now I know how. So if I want to go back, show the whole thing, I go here. I want to go here I go here I don't know all the functionality to OBS but there again you want to have the uh, webcam at the top the background screen the second one and then here it says Scarlet Solo this is my audio source now I don't have it locked because I have nothing on I just turned the gain down on the Scarlet Solo so you couldn't hear my son's fan but I am going to turn it up here in a minute so you can hear the fan and then I'm going to turn the filters on so if you want to add more sources on here, you got some other things you want to add on, you can push this plus button. You can add some other sources. Get out of that. I'm not an expert. There again, I want to make sure I say this. There are affiliate links down below, and I will collect a commission if you decide to purchase something from them. Affiliate links, it helps me and it helps my channel. I don't know if I said that, but I want to cover my bases. It's just a disclaimer. So anyway, um, after you get your scene, your sources on here, I'm not going to show you how to set those up, but you know, this is just how I set up the Scarlet Solo with the 
Samsung Q2U. You go over here and you see this bar here. Now my son, he says you want to keep that in the yellow. Okay, right in the yellow. That's where he says the best sound is. And right now it's staying in the yellow. But I do have the um, gain on the Scarlet Solo turned down to about, well, it's not a quarter. It's between a quarter and a half. And what uh, I need to say this first, uh, the Scarlet Solo documentation says to turn it up until the knob turns yellow and then turn it down just a little bit. That's what they say to do. And that's kind of how I got it right now. Okay. So anyway, I got the fan in the background and I'm going to go ahead and turn this, uh, turn this, uh, Scarlet Solo back up so you can hear the fan. See how you got that? And I can get rid of that with some filters in OBS. So I'm going to go to this drop down here. Then I'm going to go to filters. Let me turn the compression off. I had the compression on. I didn't realize that. But anyway, the, the noise suppression, the compression, and the limiter are the three ones that I use. Now you can tweak these. And the first thing that I do, and I want to get that back to how I had it earlier. I was in here doing this earlier. Kind of got a little bit of an interest in this uh, audio thing. Um, new interest, new toy, I don't know. So I can get rid of this noise. First thing you got to do is turn the noise suppression on. You'll see the eyeball come on. Need to go up there. You have need to have that audio eyeball on, and then you need to have the method. Now there's two different options. I use this the best quality one, noise reduction, good quality, more CPU usage because it just gets rid of it. Then you got one where you can adjust it. Okay, and this has got a knob on it. I'm gonna turn it all the way down. Okay, all the way down is getting rid of it. And if I turn it all the way up, then you see it. Now you can get rid of it with this, but I don't just, I don't want to mess with that. So I just go to the good quality one. So number one, I turn the noise suppression on mainly if I see, uh, see it going like I did before. I'll just shut it off so you can see it again. If I see that. There again, my son has a fan blowing behind me, so it picks that up. Um, because it's a directional microphone, I think that's why it's picking it up so much. Because it is directly behind me. It may not pick it up if I had the microphone faced the other direction. But that's how I got it faced. And then the next thing I set up is the limiter. I don't know if this is the proper order. But I go to the limiter. And I turn it on and you can see the decibels. I got it set right now for minus 10, minus 10.7. So that's supposed to keep it from going past that. Now you can turn that up, but you don't want it to go into the red. Okay. Dot. Test, test, test. See, it's going into the red. I don't want it to go in the test, 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 test. I don't want it to go into the red. So because that says about 10, I, I keep it around 10. Right about there. It shouldn't go, it shouldn't go any higher. I'm not going to say it's not going to keep it exact, but it kind of helps limit it. That's what it's called, the limiter. So you got to make sure the eyeball's on, and then you can adjust this. This release, I have no idea what that does. I'm not a professional podcaster. I've just started doing this a couple weeks ago. So then I go to the compression. I'm, I had it on earlier. I didn't realize I had it on. I turned it off. And then you got some options on here. So I'm going to turn the compression on. And then you do have output gain on here where you can turn it up if you want or turn it down. Okay. 
You got the thresh. You got a threshold on here too. I don't know what all this stuff does, but in order to get the best sound, you want to keep it in this yellow area. Now, the one thing I have noticed, and I'm going to put the other pop. I got another pop filter that goes over top here that I did notice earlier when I was listening that I do get some, uh, what do they call that? Uh, pop, uh, plosives, plosives. If you go P pi, P po, or B B, you'll get some plosives with this microphone. Um, it's got an okay, uh, what do they call that muffler? I can't think of what it's called a pop filter on it, but they come with another screen. I got another screen that I'm going to put in front of it, but I'm not going to do that with this video. So I'm still tweaking this. You also have a uh, volume button here. You can mess around with that. So it don't go so high, but the bit, the sweet spot is in this area here. That's what they tell me. Um, I also did buy some shielded cables cause they recommended that to keep, uh, away from the, uh, uh, electrical, you know, feedback. So the whole package that I got was about $350. And I do recommend that you get the, um, um, cloud lifter. I do recommend that I had it without the cloud lifter and I had to turn it up the gain up on the Scarlet solo up to about 75% with, with, with the cloud lifter, I turn it up to just under halfway without the cloud lifter. I had to turn it up to like over 70, 75%. And it does sound better with the cloud lifter. I'm using XLR. I, it, the advantage to this microphone is you can use direct USB. Well, anyway, I hope that helps somebody out. Um, they got other options on here and maybe later I'll use those, but right now I'm learning, um, the product reviews. If you watched them in, in the past from now, this forward, we'll be using a better microphone. So let's hope it sounds better. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to put a related video right up above here. So if you want to learn more about the unboxing and the cloud lifter and the, um, Scarlet solo and all that it's video up above here. So that's Mark Dwayne. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. This really wasn't meant to be a, a product review. If you're interested in these products, I do have affiliate links for Amazon down below. There again, thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.